lipstick on my teeth. I'll be redefined in shaking the sky and I'll follow me make a really cute and simple elastic waist skirt and this is honestly like the simplest thing to sew if you don't think you're good at sewing I promise that you can do this um, this is the very first thing I learned how to sew and it's honestly um, just so easy and it turns out really cute so if you want to learn how to make a cute elastic waist skirt then continue watching so materials, the first thing that you will need, obviously, is some fabric. Um, I just went to my local fabric store and picked out some cotton fabric. Um, this is the good thing about making your own skirt is you get to pick what it's going to look like. So go pick some fabric. That's like my favorite part about beginning a sewing project is just going to the fabric store and looking at all the different fabrics and picking which ones you want. I got one and a half yards of fabric. That's like perfect for me. So if you're about my size, um, one and a half yards should be great. If you're a little bigger or smaller, then obviously you should get more or less yardage. So fabric. Get your fabric. This is so cute. Um, you're also going to need an elastic band for the elastic waist and you can buy this in the fabric store too there are lots of different sizes of bands this particular one is three-fourths inch three-fourths inch band there are larger ones too that work just as well if you want to have a larger um, elastic waistband the next thing you need is a measuring tape to make sure you have the right measurements when you make your skirt because you want it to fit. Scissors to cut your fabric out. Really, it would be better if you have fabric scissors, but I can't find mine, so I'm just using these because it'll work. But if you have fabric scissors, they work a lot better than regular scissors. And the last thing you need to actually sew your skirt is <coughs> your sewing machine. So those are the only materials that you need, and now let's get started sewing. So the first thing you want to do is measure your waist or your hips, wherever you want the skirt to hit. Um, I like mine on my waist, so I'm going to just measure the size of my waist. And then you also want to measure the length of the skirt, whatever length you want. So I'm going to start at my waist where I want it to start and measure to just over my knee. Okay, so after you measure your waist or your hips, wherever you want your skirt to hit, and then the length of your skirt, you are now going to cut your fabric. I would recommend that after you buy your fabric, you put it through a, a load of laundry um, to wash it because it shrinks a little bit and you don't want to make your skirt and then wash it later and it shrinks. So wash it first and then um, make your skirt. So you're going to take the length of your waist or your hips, wherever you want your skirt to touch, and you're going to take that length and double it. And that's how much fabric you're going to cut out um, long way. So make sure your fabric is facing um, kind of horizontal, the longest length of the skirt, and that's how much you're going to cut out. Um, so for example, my waist, 27 inches, um, so I'm going to cut out 54 inches. Um, and so I'm going to measure that and just make a little mark with my scissors in the fabric. So... 54 so like right here so like I said a yard and a half is like perfect for me I'm cutting everything but this little piece so it's like a perfect size for me and I just made a little mark there and I'll cut it down once I um, make the other mark on the, the other side and one thing to note here is you're going to want to add a couple inches actually um, to whatever the length of your skirt is because 
when we make the elastic part we have to fold some of the fabric over which takes about an inch and then you're going to want to hem the bottom of the skirt too to just make it a clean solid hem and that takes a little bit of fabric too so whatever the length of your skirt you want it to be add two inches onto that um, just to make sure we have enough fabric um, it's always better to have a longer skirt than you wanted than a shorter skirt because you can always take in longer skirts but you can't really add fabric to shorter ones so for example my length I want it to be 21 inches but I'm going to actually cut out 23 inches so that I have a little extra fabric to work with so make a little mark there okay and now just cut that rectangle out okay and you can use the extra fabric for whatever you want make a little scarf out of it maybe actually it's actually not too bad that's actually cute look at that so now you have your rectangular fabric this is going to be your skirt we need to cut out one more thing before we can actually start sewing which is the elastic band and we're going to measure the length of your waist again to cut the elastic band but you're going to do one inch shorter than your waist because you want the elastic band to stretch obviously to to put it on but you don't want it to be the same size of, as your waist or else it won't like stay you want it to be one inch shorter so my waist is 27 inches so i'm going to cut out 26. okay now we're ready to sew okay the first thing we're going to do is make the little um seam where your elastic band will go through and so for that on some fabrics you can tell if there's like a front and a back to the to the fabric usually the front is more vibrant in color than the back um, some fabrics like this one it doesn't really seem like there's a difference so that's easy to work with so you just pick which side you want to be the front and which side you want to be the back and when we sew we're going to sew kind of from the inside out so the side of the fabric that should be up right now would be the inside of the skirt so we're gonna bring this guy up here <laughs> it's really heavy so we're going to make a little hem for where our elastic band is going to um, slide in so it's probably about an inch, inch and a half. Um, you're going to fold down your fabric. Um, I'm just following, I have like a line that I can follow to make sure mine's straight, so that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just gonna fold it down like an inch and then you can, you can like measure to see if it will fit in. So it looks like it will fit in there just nicely. I'm just going to sew all the way down um, and just again make sure that there's enough space um, inside the fabric for the elastic band to actually fit in. Okay, so we're not going to put the elastic in quite yet. Um, first we're going to actually sew the two sides together going to take our two sides and put them together um, right sides together so meaning um, this is what I want the front of my skirt to be so I'm going to put the two fronts of the skirt together and so the two insides of the skirt are on the outside so I'm going to put right sides together and I'm just going to sew all the way up until about right here right before we made um, the little holes for the elastics to go through I don't want to sew that up because obviously we have to put the elastic um, band in it still but I'm just going to sew pretty much the whole way up the side of the skirt starting from the bottom 
um, right sides together. And then just cut that off. I like making these skirts because it's honestly just like one seam all the way up the side and you're pretty much done. So I forgot to mention this when I was talking about what materials you need, but something that's actually very helpful to have when you're putting the elastic inside the skirt is a safety pin. Um, so if you have one, I would recommend using it because that would save you a lot of time. So um, I'm going to put the safety pin in one side of the elastic and having a safety pin is good because as you'll see when you start um, stringing this through the top, having a safety pin makes it just really easy to like pull it through. Um, so starting with the safety pin, you're going to put the elastic in one side of the hole that we made earlier and you're just kind of going to shimmy it through all the way until it pops out the other side. Um, but you want to make sure that you hold on to the end of it so the end doesn't get lost in it. You want to have one end coming out of this side and the front coming out of the second hole. So just kind of keep an eye on this, keep a hold of it as you're stringing the front through um, because you don't want this to go through the front too. Okay, so you're going to take your safety pin out. You don't need that anymore and we are just going to sew up the two sides of the elastic. So just put them together and sew it up. Maybe go over it a few times to make sure that it doesn't break. Okay, now we have the elastic band inside the skirt. We sewed up the elastic band. Now we need to sew up that little hole that we still have left because we didn't sew um, all the way up the side of the skirt the first time. So. I'm just going to tuck this little piece of fabric in and just finish up fin uh, finish up sewing the side of the skirt. So there you go, that's basically your skirt. The step now is to try it on. We haven't hemmed the bottom yet and I waited to do that because I want to see how long it is right now and to see how much I should hem it, whether I just need a little bit to get just a clear, um, good looking line at the bottom, or if it's a little long and I want it shorter, then I'll hem it um, a little bit more. So, so I'm just going to try this on. You can flip it um, inside out so now it's the right way. Try it on and see how it fits. Okay, so I tried it on and I like the length of it, so the last thing I'm going to do is just hem the bottom just a little bit, just so it's that clean um, line at the bottom. If it is too long for you, obviously you can make a larger hem. You could cut um, some of the material off to make it shorter and then hem it, or just make a larger hem. So I'm just going to make sure the skirt is flipped inside out and I'm just going to go all the way around the bottom of my skirt and fold it in just a little bit, I don't know if you can see that, just a little bit and just sew all the way around just to make a clean hem at the bottom. Okay, once you've gone all the way around, just clip off the extra thread and you are done. Flip it back the right way and there is your skirt. You can try it on again. If you don't like the length, just like hem it up one more time. Um, but there you go. There is your cute elastic waist skirt. I'll be redefined. It's shaking the sky.